every show leading up to the college football season, and it's getting closer and closer by the day. We're asking a question about the college football season. That way, by the time it gets to college football season, we've covered it from every angle and we're completely prepared. Teachers say that, right? Study a little bit every day and then you don't have to cram the night before the test. We're trying to listen, finally. Darn sure didn't listen when I was in school. Uh, So we have 99 questions about the college football season. We're asking one per day leading up to the college football uh, kickoff. Today, this is a very, um, like, triangle basketball argument. I feel like this happens a lot where you're like, take the the alumni from Duke and the alumni from UNC and and who has the best NBA roster. And right, and for years and years and years and years it was UNC and now it's Duke. Uh but we thought we'd do it for the NFL. And I thought we'd include NC State. So we're taking UNC, Duke, NC State. Not that particular order, Graham will pick the order. And we're discussing who has the best NFL roster. Who has the best group of alumni playing in the NFL right now? Graham, which team are we going with first? Let's go with Duke. Duke. Starting quarterback, Daniel Jones. Michael Carter, the other one. There's actually a Michael Carter both from UNC and Duke in in the NFL right now. That's right. Michael uh, Carter, I believe, was the one that ran all over Miami in the uh, the U down game, mm-hmm. as Carolina fans like to reference it. Yes. Uh, so there's Michael Carter's nickel with the Jets from Duke. There's Lakin Tomlinson, who's been in the NFL forever as an offensive guard with Seattle now. He is like... If I, I mean, a lot of what we're doing here, it's going to lead to recruiting, right? Because uh, colleges want to, you to know that, you know, regardless of NIL money you can make now, regardless of everything else, if you come to our school, you can make the real money, which comes when making it to the NFL, right? Uh, if somebody else offers you 10 grand more per year in NIL money, you come here, look at Lakin Tomlinson, look at Daniel Jones, who's making, what, $40 million a year. Look at Graham Barton, who was just drafted highly as an offensive center for the, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who's expected to start. Look at Noah Gray, tight end for Kansas City, who's having a heck of a time. But let's be real. The Jamison Crowders of the world, they're they're a bit few and far between for for Duke. Uh have not been a hotbed. Although Daniel Jones is is, you know, I'm looking at this total. Uh he's making he might be uh never mind. There's one out there on some of the other teams that are making a lot of money as well. But uh but hey, good for Duke having a starting quarterback in the NFL. Matter of fact, depending on who you think is the starting quarterback for uh, New England, and depending on if you claim Russell Wilson is a starting quarterback for NC State, uh, Duke may have more starting quarterbacks in the NFL than NC State. Where are we going next, Whoa, Graham? that is a hot take. Well, I mean, that's not that's not a t- uh, that's not too far off. Well, I was going to but... say it's not like I'm. That's not an opinion based. If 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 you have Jacoby Brissett as the starter of NC State, it's tied. And if you count Russell Wilson as an NC State starter, which we can go down that rabbit hole a hundred different ways. Yeah. Uh, then NC State is ob- they have two. You can spend a whole hour of a radio show yes. having that argument. Maybe we'll do that in the middle of the off season. Uh, but my point is, like, it's you could argue NC State has two. You could argue Drake May is the starter for New England, and that Russell Wilson is not NC State. In which case, Duke has one, and NC State has none. Like, I just that's not that's not. A, I'm not saying where my opinion lies. That's just we're just counting. I, I just count realized current current NFL quarterbacks. Okay. I mean, if you want to throw in, obviously Philip Rivers, you know, Roman Gabriel, Mike Glennon. Yeah. Uh, we can go on and Ryan Finley. We can go on and on. Like they have a lot of starters. It's just a little bit of a different beast. Uh, Jacoby Brissett at different points in his career has been a starter. Uh, are we going UNC or Duke next? Or sorry, UNC or NC State next? Let's go UNC. UNC. I don't like maybe it's it's a little bit of a, a reputation preceding them. I've always thought of UNC as they recruit highly, maybe underachieve a little bit in college, but then they crank out a lot of NFL players. Like there's a lot of individual talent. Looking at their like current NFL roster, not as top heavy as you'd like. There's Drake May, who we'll, we're waiting to see. Uh somebody like Javante Williams, um, Josh Downs, who I'm really excited about in in Indy. Uh, Sam Howell has a chance maybe to do some maybe things uh, as a backup that could end up starting. Tez Walker, like Miles Murphy, a very young, very but 
you know, top to bottom, they they don't have as much like depth in the NFL as I'm used to seeing from NC State. Yeah, or sorry, from UNC. They've had their fair share of quarterbacks that have succeeded, as you just mentioned, Drake May. Well, we got to wait and see how Drake. Mitch May's. Trubisky's still in the league. Mitch Trubisky, Marquise Williams, too. Yep. They, I mean, they've they've had some guys. It's just I always I always it's again it's like you know eventually you have to step back and think of your your stereotypes and see if they're still true. Right, like Julius Peppers isn't walking through those doors anymore. There's, there's a lot. Uh, Ronald Curry isn't walking through those doors anymore. Like, there's a lot of guys that have done very well from UNC. It's just they're, they're not as deep in the NFL as they, they have been in, in, I don't know, ten years ago. And it's kind of offensive player heavy, right? Along with Ryan Switzer, as you just mentioned, Michael Carter for the New York Jets. Mm-hmm. I mean, but there's like guys like Dre Bly. They've had. They've had some some on the up Julius Peppers. They've had some guys on the other side of the ball also. Uh, I'm just I was I was surprised in doing this exercise. Uh, and lastly, NC State. NC State wins in depth. I'll give you that much. Uh, they have starting defensive tackle for the Cardinals, Justin Jones, Ike Aquanu. We'll see what he develops into. Kind of a make or break year for for the Panthers. Uh, B.J. Hill, starting interior defense lineman for for Cincy. Uh, Aleem McNeil, who's a st- Dud for Detroit and and getting paid like it. Joe Tooney, who's a stud on the offensive line for Kansas City and getting paid like it. Jacoby Myers, Bradley Chubb, talk about a stud getting paid for it, making a lot of money with Miami. Garrett Bradbury's been making a lot of money as a center for a long time. Jacoby Brissett, Peyton Wilson, uh, you know you can go down the list to guys that that you know Naheem Hines, they uh, Thayer Thomas, they've 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 got some dudes. Heck, you've interviewed half of their NFL roster on pack therapy this past football season. I see. That's the thing. You would think half, but they're they they're deep. We need to keep. We need to get back to work on pack therapy. See if we can't get more of these guys. Um, so looking at it, I actually think, I mean, NC State's one, right? They they have the the Bradley Chubbs, the the um, Aleem McNeils, the Jacoby Myers, the Joe Tooney's. That makes it pretty obvious. And if you can't count Jacoby Brissett and Russell Wilson, then you know, watch out as starters. Then watch out. Um, next up, I th- I still think you go UNC with just a little bit more sizzle, and then Duke. But uh, but that last group is is closer than I thought. Yeah. So I give the nod to, to UNC there, uh, which I think will make up with UNC fans a little bit for the fact that I said Duke had the better NBA basketball roster right at the top and didn't even explain myself. So uh, I'll give football to UNC. Basketball to Duke, football really going to NC State though. I mean that's fair. I think that's fair, right? And by the way, I, there's no way I could list comprehensively everyone uh, that's in the NFL for any of these teams. Because if you start looking at you know late round draft picks and guys that are you know third string, like the, the, these are power conference football teams. There's going to be guys you know up and down the roster. So I could not list them all. I tried to pick a few of the highlights. I tried to p- tell the the full story without um bogging it down because you know we could just turn this into you know calling roll at the beginning of class and just go you know cedric gray just read names but that's not a good segment russell wilson it's either a wolf pack or badger it can't be a pack of badgers can't be it can't be both you gotta choose one we could have just done that i i remember the first time whatever he was doing the i forget which game it was prime time game where you have to say you know uh joe flacco university of delaware uh and he said russell wilson a whole pack of badgers, and it was like big, like what? big news. No one that's not either from you know the triangle or wherever was Madison, Wisconsin, understood what the heck he was doing. 